Hello friends, I am your friend Sachin, and I welcome you to my channel Indiawala View. Let us see what's happening out there. Boeing has been flying an FA-180F Super Hornet off a ground-based ski jump at Naval Air Station Patuxent River in Maryland. This is part of a demonstration effort for the Indian Navy to show that the aircraft can operate from short takeoff but arrested recovery configured STOBAR aircraft carriers, such as the INS Vikramaditya and the future INS Vikrant. The Chicago headquartered plane maker subsequently confirmed that this ski jump demonstration program is presently taking place at Patuxent River, though it is not clear when exactly it began. The Naval Air Station has a ground-based ski jump that it used during testing of the short and vertical takeoff and landing capable F-35B variant of the Joint Strike Fighter. Boeing and the U.S. Navy are in the beginning phases of operating an F-A-18 Super Hornet from a ski jump at Naval Air Station Patuxent River to demonstrate it is STOVAR compliant for the Indian Navy. Boeing completed extensive analysis and more than 150 flight simulations on F-A-18 compatibility with Indian aircraft carriers, and while our assessment has shown the Block 3 Super Hornet is very capable of launching off a ski jump, this is the next step in demonstrating that capability. Testing showed that with as little as a 9-degree incline, the total required takeoff roll for the Hornet could be cut in half, though it's unclear what the jet's gross weight had to be to achieve this performance. Ski jumps generally increase the takeoff performance of combat jets in the absence of catapults and also provide an added margin of safety. Since at least 2016, the Indian Navy has been working to acquire a fleet of at least 57 new fighter jets to complement its existing MiG-29K fulcrums under the Multi-Role Carrier Born Fighter MRCBF, program. There have been numerous reports over the years that the Indians have been disappointed in the performance of their navalized fulcrums. The Super Hornet is now competing against the MiG-29K, as well as the naval version of the French-made Dassault Rafale and a variant of the Swedish Gryphon. The Indian Air Force notably took delivery of the first of its land-based Rafale variants last month. The Indian Navy had also previously rejected plans for a carrier-based version of the domestically designed Tejas, with complaints that the design was overweight, though the development of that aircraft has continued, since then. In January, the prototype landed on and took off from the INS Vikramaditya for the first time. Being able to operate from a STOBAR carrier is a key requirement for the Indian Navy, which presently only has the one carrier, the INS Vikramaditya, which is in the configuration. A second STOBAR configured flattop, the future INS Vikram, an indigenous design, is also under construction. The Super Hornet, in its latest advanced Block 3 configuration, is also in the running for a separate Indian Air Force fighter jet mega contract, which is looking to acquire 126 new fighters for that service. A deal with the Indian Navy could further tip the scales toward the FA-180F due to the cost benefits that India could realize from logistics, infrastructure, and supply chain commonality. Whatever happens, it will be very exciting to learn more about how the Super Hornet has been faring in these ski jump tests at Patuxent River. Thank you friends for watching my video, please hit like button, subscribe our channel to get the latest uploaded videos. Also hit bell icon next to subscribe button to get notification when new video is uploaded. If you have anything to say, or want to suggestions please feel free to comment in the comment section below. Take care.